What is up guys, my name is Meeps and welcome back for yet another League of Legends video. So today we are continuing our road to Diamond and today we're playing my absolute favorite skin for Ash. It is the High Noon Ash skin with kind of this bluish chroma that I think looks completely and utterly epic. I'm gonna be honest, I really like this one. <laughs> but yeah, things are gonna be pretty interesting. We are playing with an Anala support with or into a Kai'Sa and a Braum. And Kai'Sa is in a really good state, so this might not be such an easy lane. Uh, but yeah, we are currently somewhere in mid to end the silver, making our way towards gold. And then from there, we're going to go up towards plat. So it's going to be really interesting. Uh, for those of you who are new in here and that wants to follow our journey slash adventure to Diamond, then make sure to go down below, click that subscribe button, join in on our amazing community. And uh, yeah, if you want to see me live, then go to twitch.tv dash meeps underscore live. I stream every single Friday. And lastly, if you do enjoy this video, then I would greatly appreciate it if you would smash that like button for me because it actually helps me a lot since it tells YouTube that this is a good video and then it actually suggests it to more people and that way our community grows even faster. So thank you in advance and thank you guys so much for welcoming this uh, Road to Diamond series so freaking well. Like it's been insane seeing the Amina support you guys have given them. Uh, so I'm going to make sure that this is something that we'll continuously do because I really, I personally really enjoy it. Anyway. This is going to be really interesting. A really nice start for us here. We are going to be able to almost get a kill out of this. Maybe even we got the flash out there. I am going to probably... Oh, I dodged that one. That was nice. Uh, we're very close to getting stunned. We still do need to respect the minions a little bit. Because at these lower uh, levels, since we're only like level 1. Then they actually hurt quite a bit. Um, we're going to start popping our potions here. What I want to be a little aware of now is actually that I have a bad hunch that this Kindred could be looking down here pretty early. Um, so this is something we want to be a little aware of. As soon as we get level 3, uh, then I will be using my uh, my scan such that we can figure out where the hell this guy's at. Oh, I missed that minion. And that one. Okay. Let's not... And that one. <laughs> Let's not miss anymore. And that one. We got that one. I was surprised. <laughs> Okay, so, so far, the thing is, I don't like that we're this far into the lane, uh, because if Kindred comes down here, we can get punished very, very easily. Uh, so, I'm I'm just constantly right now trying to look at the map, figure out if I can see where this Kindred is, because uh, that is our primary concern right here. This will allow us to scan upwards. I'm going to be scanning uh, the bot side of the jungle to see if I can see her. Uh, I don't. So the only place she can be if she is bot side is either she's counter jungling, which we know she's not because Fiddle was just there. Or number two is that she's golems, which I don't think so. I think that is very unlikely because if she's golems, then that was a, that's a really bad jungle choice because she could have been taking uh, Scuttle instead, which Fiddle just took. And we didn't see her check that. So she's top side. Yeah, we just saw her by NASA. So we're all good down here. Which means that we can start playing a bit more aggressive. So I'm going to be looking for a little poke. I think I'm actually going to just make sure that we only last hit now. To make the wave kind of push to us instead. Um, and the reason for this is that I want to create uh, like opportunities for my support to actually start and engage. If I keep pushing up to the turret, I'm not going to create any opportunities. And it seems like this, ne this Nautilus... Has done a pretty good job overall. Like he's he he really like he made a really good early game uh, engage for us, which I really appreciate. So I want to try and create more situations where he can engage. Uh, in ten seconds, we're gonna do another scan because it's been a while since we've seen their kindred, and I want to make sure that uh, that we don't do. Whoop! This is a little scary, and we're not gonna go for an all in here at all. Again, we're going to scan the map in a second. I just want to kind of sit in a situation where I don't have to look. Okay, he, right now Kindred is here. She currently has no buffs. Um, whoop. But she did get a first lot there. I would really like to see how much HP she has on. She's pretty low, but she's making her way 
down towards Drake, meaning that she could be going for the respawning Scottle. Oh, she's going for this one, actually. The thing is, I'm going to lose out on a lot of minions if I go there now. Uh, but she's definitely going for that one. And we probably have to... Uh, I can scan them, but I, I don't think we can do much about it. We can try. She is fairly low. I'm not going to be able to catch it. Nope, she smited it. Okay, so... She repositioned the control ward? Oh, okay. Alright, sadly we weren't... Maybe I should move up there quicker. But the thing is, the reason why I was hesitant to move up there right away is because if I did, I would lose out on a huge pile of minions. And the the most likely scenario is Kindred would smite and run away, basically like she did. Um, maybe she wouldn't have gotten the buff then or gotten the stack. But the scenario would have been the same. I would have lost out on something that looks like 80 maybe 100 gold um so it's not really in that sense it's not really worth it at least that was my evaluation uh i totally understand that some people might have another opinion about this but it was my evaluation that i i didn't believe it would be worth moving for it uh until level six it like we're just kind of waiting for nautilus to hit something and that's totally fine. Like, we don't need the engage in order to, uh... Oh. We're just gonna deal as much damage as we possibly can here. I do have my heal in case things go down. I'm gonna be using it here because I'm a little... I'm a scaredy cat. I'm a little scaredy cat. Oh, don't miss that. Oh, I'm not with you. Uh, Galio's coming down. This is bad. I'm not gonna... I can't do anything to it. I'm gonna have to flash that. I hope not. I'm, I'm not going to be chasing in a second. He's going to have his E back and he would just E back into me. So we'll do the damage that we can. These guys are going to be looking for a back in a second. Uh, so I'm probably going to be doing the same. I'm just, again, trying to keep my CS up. I'm going to keep a respectable uh, dif distance. Not difference. Distance uh, here. Because I really don't want these guys to just jump in my face. But I know they're looking for their back now. And I'm actually going to do exactly the same thing. Going to clear out my minions. And then I'm going to be looking for a back. And I want to hopefully create a better back than they are. Uh, so we'll we'll take this. I'll be clearing this. And we'll be taking the next wave here as well. And at this point, I don't really mind using my abilities for farming at all. Because I need to back as soon as possible. There we go. Um, and we're going to look here once we're while we're back. And we're going to try and kind of look at the different lanes. See how things are going. We're going to start off buying our boots. Also, I want to start building. I think we'll actually buy a little bit of sustains. We'll buy our Vampiric Scepter. And then we'll go for a Control Ward and a Healing Potion. Uh, but while we're running, let's kind of look at the lane. So we have our Callista mid lane, which is kind of a weird pick. I'm going to be honest. Uh, she's not doing super bad, but she's not doing great either. She has died once. I think this was to their kindred, though. I think that was the first plot. Uh, but she is out farming, which is nice. But this is probably also a result of the fact that Galio just backed a moment ago. So, yeah. That's kind of... I think that's kind of the result of it. But... Looking at everything else, uh, the most scary thing that we'll probably end up seeing is that if this Nasus is not... Like, if if we don't start doing something to him, topside, if they don't start getting him under control... Because right now, he's going pretty much equal with... Uh, I can actually just fire this off right here. It should be... This should be fine. Should be a 3 kill, hopefully. Yeah, I knew it. They over overstayed. Right here, we can just kite. We should be all good. That's just another free kill. Thank you. And very well played also, our Nautilus reacting on our shot. Uh, if he didn't, however, we wouldn't go all in. But seeing as he did, it's just super fine. So what we can do now is we can push this turret. Also, we can, uh, we can scan all the way up here. This will give us some vision of where Kindred is. So Raptor Camp is still up. Oops, there's a turret shooting at us. That's terrible. Uh, we will be looking for it back as soon as we've cleared these minions. We'll be using our abilities to clear this up a little quicker. Oh, 
Oh, wow, that's bad. If she has ult, I could die here. Literally, if she has ult. I overstayed. I completely overstayed. I'm going to have to just do my thing. If, mm -hmm, yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. I was trying to kite and hopefully create a situation where Kindred would have to choose between either dying or popping her ult and saving me. That was, that was my thought process here. Um, and it almost worked. It almost worked. But they went in like, yeah. <laughs> or Kalista went in a little too hard after I died here. Uh, but that was my thought process was I saw that I overstayed. I That's my own fault that I overstayed. Of course, I shouldn't have overstayed. But when I saw this situation, I tried to create the best possible situation for my team. Seeing as I was probably going to die. And maybe crying is creating a slim chance that I could survive. And my chance here was to just literally try and kite this kindred to the point where she, one, either dies or two, has to pop her ult, which potentially can save my life. Um, so using her own ability against her. That was my thought process. Um, it almost worked. We were very, very close to do so. Let's get this control ward out of the way. It's been there for a while now. Because uh, we saw it last time, but we haven't had time to clean it and our support haven't really... I don't think he saw it either. But I, I think, like, considering the fact that this is, like, around, like, mid-silver, then this is one of the better supports I've gotten in a long time. Like, he's not he's not completely amazing, but he's... he's it, it could, like, believe me, I see, like, you see so much worse at this elo. So this is actually not too bad. All right, we do have old. What I want to know right now is I want to know where this kindred is. I'm going to have faith that my uh, nod knows exactly what's going on. All right, so we did everything we could here. Uh, it could appear the backup is coming down, at least for us. A little unsure where the enemy team is as such. We'll do everything we can here. I'm gonna heal and I'm just gonna deal as much damage as I can. I'm gonna just stay close. The thing I need to be a little aware of here is the goddamn turret. Alright, we're just gonna DPS as much as we can. Super good block the minions and hopefully uh we should be able to push this turret now all right there we go i'm gonna be taking one armor plating here and uh, then i think we'll back off so we don't overstay again because i'm a little unsure i didn't notice if uh Kalista used her jump she's respawning now but if i stayed again she would probably be able to get into w range and maybe even use her ult on me if she got in range so we're gonna respect her for a second here and we're gonna back off we want to make sure that we try like that we snowball the lead that we have buying my healing potion at, at this point here it, it it's not really necessary it's like i it's just a I just felt like I'd rather take it and not need it than not taking and needed it. Uh, but it's really nice. Kalista went up, took the Drake. I should actually <clears throat> have held up with this. Um, that was actually a bad call by me backing without going Drake. I should have taken the one armor plate and going Drake with her to have it safely and also to save her a bit of time. But um, it appears that it was safe nevertheless. So everything should be okay. We're going in for yet another engage. I'm trying to hit their Kalista. I'm going to just do as much damage as I can here. I can pop my ult. Should be all good. I should be able to just kill this guy. Okay, maybe not. I'm going to be flashing out. We're going to pop that potion. And now I'm going to be really careful. Okay, we see Kalista or Kindred again. So we should be good. Kindred's mid side. We're all good. But that became a lot more scary than I thought it would be. I actually thought we would kill that easier. I thought we had it. All right. So again, we'll try and see if we can poke with our W. Kindred is now moving down here. So we're backing out. We have to get out now before she gets her slow on us. There we go. And we don't want to engage because a 2v3 is not a good situation to be in. All right. So, so far it's, uh, it's going okay. This let's check the NASA stacks 258. Um, that's not like 
that's not out of control yet but nasus is slowly reaching a point where it's gonna get harder to stop his stacks uh he is playing for the late game that's for sure when you are picking into a nasus or picking an Nasus. Uh, this is gonna be a little dangerous i'm gonna have to stick back because of the tp and we're just gonna be standing here doing as much work as we can pop the w hopefully hit that brom and back out here that's really really nice All right, so let's get this turret down now. And um, we could actually go for a second turret. Uh, and we could consider trying to go for... Make parts of our team go for the uh, Rift. That will be really amazing. I, I'm going to try and ping Rift for them. But going for the Rift now, they will have to have Fiddlesticks there. But it's just... We are down here, so taking, taking the uh, Rift now should be fairly free because we're creating a lot of pressure here i'm gonna pop my e up here just so we know if somebody's ambushing us all right that's a free turret all right we got to get out of here now we don't have any mobility and they're going all in here i'm gonna be popping my ult just to peel off i'm not gonna be turning around doing anything else i'm literally just running uh because i don't i don't see any point in in trying to fight this this is this is not a winning fight and even if we did, it would like it would be very, very risky. They are four, maybe even five people. Okay, they're four people. Uh, Nasus does not have TP. So we can basically always create uh, advantage situations whenever Knar has his uh, TP ready. All right, so we can't really back right now because if we do so... Oh, we double warded. Rip. If we do so, I'm going to heal my support hopefully it's gonna be enough all right i actually the thing is maybe i should have continued that one because i do have a mortar shield bow with a little bit of luck we would have won that fight okay i i believe i can do this i have a mortal shield bow she doesn't know she doesn't realize it yeah um she didn't realize oh god if she has old i'm screwed yeah <laughs> okay okay yeah we knew this was gonna happen if she had old uh but it's fine they used a lot for it uh i'm gonna give that one we don't need the potion i'm gonna give them that one like when she hit the w it was like if she has old we're dead but she flashed in order to get in range for old so i like i guess it was worth it ish for her but then again really <laughs> um but the kindred completely underestimated us. Uh, we had the thing I was looking at, and this is something, especially for uh, the lower elo players out there that's trying to climb. If you are building a mortal shield boat, make sure that you look down at it and see if, if the cooldown's running down. If you don't have cooldown on it, it's actually really, really good because it gives you this extra shield when uh, when you're re like below the 30% mark. And that's an extra, like, 300 shield for three seconds. Plus, you get this extra life steal. So, like, you became re become really, really tanky for a moment. Or not tanky, but you be you get, get a good chunk of extra health. And especially seeing as, uh, as their kindred did not have her mythic item yet. And she's not even, like, she's building a gale force. Then I knew for a fact that I could duel her. I'm gonna go Drake here. I'm gonna fire off my ult. Hopefully, that's gonna help out a little bit. There we go. Nice. My primary objective here was just to keep keep damaging down that uh, turd. Not turd, Drake. Wow. There's a big difference between a Drake and a turd. <laughs> Apparently not in my head. Okay, so Nasus is pushing top, but Gnar is really nicely going up there and uh, holding him back. So that's perfect. We have the Rift. Very nice. So we should be able to get an inhib turret right here. That'd be perfect. There we go. And let's get this inhib. I'm gonna have to make sure that we still fight mindfully. So it appears we wouldn't we didn't get that down. We're really close to do so. But yeah, we didn't get it. That sucks. But uh we'll come back for it another day. So right here, I'm just gonna since it's since i have full vision of where people are i'm gonna be clearing out parts of their jungle uh on my way out because i might as well and then we'll go take grump and then we'll start building into an infinity edge 
Um, Alright, so we're going to really quickly damage this thing down. And we'll take wolves. I think my team might actually want to be going Baron here. I think they're... I need to hurry down there before this goes south. Uh, if I fire off my ult here, I should be able to hit it. If she runs. Okay, she doesn't. She didn't survive that long. Uh, I'm going to be able to slow this dude. I'm going to put down my vision. This guy is 100% dead. I'm going to flash forward. Uh, such that we also hopefully can catch this, uh, this Braum. That's uh, 100%. We got him. All right, let's get the uh, in hip now. Uh, Nasus is still bot side, so I think we can actually push this uh, fairly easy. Oh, I'm going to be using heal out. I'm going to be a little careful here. This Nasus could potentially end up doing a triple. I don't think we can beat him, so I'm actually just going to run. I'm going to split such that hopefully we're not two people dying. Yep. Um, I had the feeling that he would probably catch up to me. And yes, if I stayed with my support, then maybe he could peel it off and he would die instead of me. But I see at this elo, I don't really trust that that's going to happen. I, I, my, my belief would be that the scenario will probably just be that, uh, that he would grab in and we would end up dying both of us. <laughs> um, so I took the evaluation that I feel like it was better just, uh, completely splitting up, ensuring that at maximum, like max damage on our team would just be that I died. Like that would be the maximum casualty. Um, so that's what we went for. I feel like it was the right choice. At higher elos, I would probably be, be trusting my support to do the right thing. But right here, I don't feel like it's worth it. Um, so Nasus is pushing top. And we have two options here. We can go try and keep him back. Or we can actually just finish the game. Because Kai'Sa is down, meaning there are three people. I'm sitting on my ult. We're already half fighting down here. If I fire off my ult here, 100%, I should hit somebody. Yep, that's going to hit Kindred. And the reason why I'm going to throw it right here is because, like, that is kind of an area where you need to maneuver around. And you can see the enemy was kind of fleeing. So just putting it there ensured that, like, with, like, 85% chance, I would be hitting a target, even though I was firing it off really far away. All right, so that is just going to be a GG's. Really, really nice game overall. I really enjoyed this one. I feel like there was a lot of like a lot of macro play in it and generally just a fun game. It's not a super high kill, kill game for us, but a really enjoyable game to play. And uh, like things slowly, like even though it was silver, we, we made some things work. Um, and that's what you want to look for in these lower ELOs games. You won't be able to make everything work. You mo won't make able to do the perfect plays and doing the... The, the right strategies but if you can just get a few of the right strategies in there that's really going to help you along the road to actually winning the game and i feel that's what happened here we also had a support that i felt like was doing okay especially considering the elo in which we were playing in but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did and uh, if you're not already then make sure to go ahead go down below click that subscribe button join in to our awesome community it's been so amazing seeing the ammonist support and uh, yeah if you want to see me live go to twitch.tv dash meeps underscore live i stream every single friday and lastly of course if you enjoyed it make sure to smash that like button it really does help me out but with all of that said all i have left to say is as always stay awesome have fun and take it easy, guys.